Just at glory. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Ready now. Very well. Good luck out there.
I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend.
Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting here for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. The moth stopped. We need to keep casting Lumos on it. Lumos. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I. Growing pungent onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello, class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. 
Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital economy, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. You know that, of course. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomp. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! That's a 
have anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Resource indeed. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything, we must first. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous.
I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the fruit of feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Professor Sharp said the Witherwell Oh, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Edurus potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. 
and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Ha. Ah. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. 
I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope... You certainly have a knack for finding treasure.
Australia. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. It's like a place right out of a storybook. It is good to see you, my friend. I never thought Ramrock's... Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Renrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. 
Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. After what Ragnarok did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter.
How many of you are there? I 
quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to on. It is good to see you, my friend. If you're here for my... Come I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Wonder who lives here. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Hollow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Vanrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid man! You there! I see you! Dodged an attack. Die for that. Oh, what's 
the light go out of your eyes. It in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. <sighs> Are you all right? <sighs> I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell. And we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Flames make the pyre sink. Man, how beautiful! 
What a day. I can hardly believe it. Lumos. Revelio. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Oh, that's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see... We were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. 
rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. It gives me a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Incendio! Lumos. Ah. Rebellion! Lumos. some kind. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery.
Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. It's me, Gareth. You have a moment. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dry... Uh, you there! Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. A uh, one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Revelia.
Revelia. This looks like the right statue. Rebellion. Indian. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Revenia. A lift? Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. to get out of here. I'm going to have to get past this.
and send them back. Getting in the way of that platform. One more to go, and I'll make it across. Rebellion. This must be the way out. Hmm, we need to find a way to open that gate. Be close to honey juice. Hogsmeade, here I come. Rebellion. Honey dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I? Stings for Gareth. Revelio. I have the dried billywick stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out.
Hello, Gareth. I have those dried bilirubin stings. You got them. Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come. Hello there. Perhaps you can help. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Lumos. Rebellion. Hmm. My nuts are a skeleton. I'm on the right track.
our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? This stairwell looks promising. When my grandfather went to this school, This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Lumos. Revelia. Incendio. Lumos. hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Where did you get your dragon hide glove? The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? for a quick sprint on my boot. Find anything yet? Revelio. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round...
else might yield anything interesting. Nice to see you, my young friend. Heard you defending. Who could brattle the must have been? To take care of everything I had Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Still at it, I see.
What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Was one for the ages. Try to beat that. Let you have that one. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander, there's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practising and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Hello, Nelly. You seem excited about something. The Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. <laughs> I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, oh, I'd love I... to know what you find, if anything.
My aunt has A Dedanian key. Wonder where it might lead me. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like a Gryffindor house token. I better unlock our house chest. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in our common room and heard there are also in the other common rooms. Keep an eye out. I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this through and find the Gryffindor house chest. Revelio. I was a late bloomer. I found a life to find me.
prefer they not be allowed to attend. How nice to see you, my young friend. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that, and now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Revelia. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Got it. I need four more to go. Avelia. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Rebellion.
Ravenia. Up your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trying to me reading my diary. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book and that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten Rebellion. roast beef. I beg your pardon? Roast beef? Rotten roast beef? That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Ah, mm. oh, I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. 
Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. A student in Never the kitchen. Never will understand students. What could they want? Plenty of delicious. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how Certainly hungry growing humans are. Certainly makes rookies jobs here. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. smell. Oh, I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Mick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Finky supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no! Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air! Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gant's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and, of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the newfangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Revelio. Hmm. I've gained a new appreciation for breakfast. Mmm. It smells glorious in here. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. 
Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. While, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amset. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. I'd say he's in over his head this time. <laughs> I've it, really. Never been as level-headed as I am now. Who will be next to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? 
Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him! Revelio. Whatever you say, Dumfrey, this is not my finest moment. Then I would be the one to clean up this I could do that too if I had a wand and a body. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this. Is it over yet? We're still going. I could do that too if I had a wand and a body. Say to old Jackdaw here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas says you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes, <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, 
if I remember correctly. Some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. We may have an intruder in our midst. Hello. Come bring us! You took Laura Treadwell from us! Clumsy little fool! That was 
Revenia. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, Velia. a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Nothing to do now but keep going. Nothing to do now but keep going. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word.
something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. Far from home. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But uh, really it is. Handy resources. <laughs> 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 The loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. I wonder how big this place is. Revelio. before they time out on me. Casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells are going through this. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this.
Velia. That platform ought to be able to float straight to me. skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Yeah. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. But there's no sign of it. Solve this. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there.
Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. There's no sign of him. Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? complete.
wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this. Simply too many.
I can only imagine how many characters have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. Revenia! Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. There's no sign of him. Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Revelia! Here it is the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place?
can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. To learn De Pulso, the banishing charm, useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clotten, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, 
Step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are my school own. property. I want them returned in oh, one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. That wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. 
That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Three dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought... Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. <laughs> 